Hey, Hound Dogs, I'm David Hankins. I'm Paul Hankins. I'm Trevor Hankins. I'm Rachel Wells. And I'm Julia Cannon. And you're on the air with Power Squared. Uh, this week we're going to... Rachel's on the show, so we can talk about issue 18. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rachel. It's me. <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, but anyway, so we're going to talk about issue 18, which comes out on Wednesday. The hey. So, what do you guys remember about the issue? It's been a while. Um, There was an angry boy. And it was very warranted. Okay. There's at least one bird. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> this is sad. You all have read the issue, right? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not wrong. No, 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 but you've actually read it, right? Yeah. You put it in the Dropbox for everybody. Yeah. The, st- the main thing that sticks out to me about issue 18, working on it, was just drawing a lot of hospital gurneys. Mm. Or like the tables. <laughs> okay, yeah, there were some gurneys in there. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I will <laughs> say though, like because there were so many, it was hard for me to distribute. Okay, where does this start? Where does this end? Got it. <laughs> I figured it out. Don't worry. <laughs> that's true. I often mm-hmm. like when I draw these comics. Like there can be so many, so much technical drawing, and I don't mm-hmm. even think about like how is the colorist going to tell the sh- all this stuff apart. <laughs> it's okay. I completely understand. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it works, so I'm just like, okay. <laughs> we make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this issue ends the arc that was started in issue 16, mm. which was Mocha and Raven. Yes. I'd like to put the cover without the border, but anyway, I didn't confine them, so it's like how it is. And then there was the middle issue, 17. 17. Raven part two. I still like how you guys did the text like over the hands and everything yeah. for that one. Yeah, that was, yeah. That, well, that was like a group effort, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> special. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, file and all that stuff. <laughs> and, uh, so initial eighteen is part three. Right. And so, and they will be available in the normal places, but you can go to. PowerSquareComicBook.com slash the campus store. Yes. And find it everywhere it's going to be. It will be Kindle, Artith Merrick, Indie Planet, and Global Comics. So digital and in print. It's on everything. Yeah, well, we try. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anybody have any more thoughts about it beyond the fact that it had gurneys and birds? <laughs> <laughs> and an angry boy. <laughs> I think it's a satisfying ending to the arc. Okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh gosh. Those have been following a rap. Those have been following along. Mm-hmm. I think we'll be happy with this this ish- this last issue in this arc. Mm-hmm. If you haven't been following along, what are you doing? Yeah. Go to powersquaredcomic.com and buy sixteen and seventeen so you can catch up. Or one through fifteen. As well. Just buy them all. And go. <laughs> <laughs> True. Please. <laughs> no. Uh... Yes, please. Yes. Yeah, it would yeah. be, uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, 18. So, yeah, basically, uh, the story is that uh, Mocha and Raven, or okay, Raven and Billy O'Shea come to San Romero. Yeah. And uh, Raven and Mocha have a history that's not really great because Mocha tried to eat her eggs. Right. Mm-hmm. years ago and Raven has not forgotten that and um, Billy and Raven are there sort of doing the bidding of Dr. Atlas yes hoping that if he'll leave them alone if he helps them they help them right right yeah, yeah. and it also just like it kind of shows in the series like we already know like Dr. Atlas is like not really a good person yeah, but then, like with, like with, like with, really. yeah, like we already knew that. But then Issue once one. we figured out what happened to Billy, it was like, dude, he's a kid. Leave him alone, please. <laughs> yeah, well, that was. Uh, oh yeah, well, that was in issue seventeen. Where we get kind of a backstory of Billy and Raven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He. Uh, his friends were out shooting birds like kids will do with a BB gun. Not saying you should, but I'm saying it does happen. 
and uh, he, he kind of don't shoot it. birds with BB guns. You shouldn't. <laughs> so I'm a disclaimer. People do. Uh, maybe not so much anymore, but they still get anyway. So he uh, nurses a bird back to health. Turns out to be Raven, who is a Yadagarasu. Yeah, Yadagarasu. And um, she gives him some powers, which he ends up using, which pulls gets his attention to the, uh, Dr. Atlas's, Dr. Atlas's attention. Right? And then she yep. has to kind of rescue him. So. Mm -hmm. That was just kind of, it must have been issue 17. Oh, okay. Sort of a little backstory. And I had this idea about maybe spinning them off as their own little series, but. I support it fully. Yeah. Okay. It's like, well, it's like, what are they up to now? Yeah. <laughs> I, even wrote, I even wrote an issue. Hey. Yeah, but we're so far behind. It's in the, it's in the drawer for now. <laughs> yeah, it's just, there's like eight or nine issues in the drawer for now. So. <laughs> that's, wow. that's valid. <laughs> yeah. So, and we'll be cranking out, uh, anyway, an, another issue uh, in December 19. Yeah. So, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but anyway, so um, yeah, eighteen kind of wraps up the uh, the trilogy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or the three part story. Really, is what it is. Um, yeah, like like the one thing I like to point. It was just something I noticed, like reading it per se, is like obviously like with Billy, it just kind of shows that like not only is like well like what Doctor Atlas did to him at a young age or to his family at a young age was not okay, but it also showed the repercussions over the years with Billy because it's like in hindsight, he never like he, he he's in that he was in that weird combination of he grew up too fast but also didn't grow up at all, if that makes any sense. And I saw that a lot in his dialogue when he was talking to the boys and especially when he showed anger and I'm just like like, dude, Atlas, like, you're already, you're already evil, but why do you do this to the child? <laughs> like, why? That's what I was thinking, too. Like, it's a sort I'm of like... Arrested Development type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the show, but, like, literally Arrested yeah, no, Development. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's talk yeah. About that like, don't get me wrong, it was a, it was a good, it was a good thing on that part, because it's, like, it's, it was, like, valid, like, of course, that's going to happen, so. I would say that was a good writing on that part, just showing, like, yeah, uh, this is like kind of what happens. This is kinda, like that's kind of what happens when you force a kid to grow up. He, they don't grow up, but they also grow up at the same time, and it's mm -hmm. just it's weird. Not weird, but it's like it's eh. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Trevor, you want to say something? Uh, but this arc, I also tried to experiment a little more with lettering, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Oh yeah, and just want to point out today is Letter Appreciation Day. Hey, uh, so that I'm, so that we appreciate you, Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> pat, yeah. A virtual pat on the back from all of us. <laughs> but yeah, no. So just wanted to point that out. Um, I think I remember suggesting the cover. Okay. I recall that too. We are going through a few iterations of a design. Yeah. So then I thought well, of something. What was your suggestion? Uh, well, this general composition. Okay. Uh, or the idea behind it. Yes. Okay. That was, uh, I think, thumbnail B or something from the. <laughs> I remember we were kind of struggling to come up with a cover. Right. So then I suggested that and it. I recall that too. I do like the end result of like Mocha reaching out to Raven. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then the sort of the aura of their, you know, yeah. Uh, oh, like of their respected and yeah. Yokai shapes, I guess we should say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it's, it's, the thing yeah. that occurred to me about Raven is that apparently ravens or just like corvids in general have been observed holding grudges against humans that have wronged them. So mm -hmm. you, you could say that Raven is like accurate to her species. Not True. True. <laughs> Phew, that was what we were going for. No, I'm <laughs> It's like, yes, hmm, yes. <laughs> no. If you do something to piss off a crow, they will remember you. <laughs> oh, like that one episode of 911 where the kids were throwing rocks at the crow. Oh, no. Wait, no one watches 911? No. 
Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Tell us, tell us <laughs> no, cause like, yeah, there was like an episode where some kids were being dumb, they threw some rocks at crows, and obviously like the crows were attacking him, so they had to hide in a barn. Uh huh. So when the paramedics came, they had to get them out by like disguising the kids as like paramedics to get them out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Oh my god. Don't mess with Corvids, y'all. Yeah. They will come for you and your family. Yeah. Yeah, but what the cool part is, like, I believe, I believe with crows as well. It's like there's also the opposite where if you're nice to the crows, they're still not, they're obviously going to be repaying you back as well. So it's like, how, how can you be it's, nice to a crow? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, don't kill it. Number one. Well, yeah, <laughs> give it well, things. Yeah, like, give it things. I remember I read this. I, I read this like story where like these. I think this family like they always would leave like food and water out for like the birds of the area right and it was like an ongoing routine where i guess they just saw it as like oh like we're thankful so i guess at one point it was like i remember there was a story where this person like where they were going out like for photo- like taking photography somewhere they left their camera lens at the place but then when they came back the camera lens was like at their porch or something or where the birds would <laughs> usually feed i'm like why does that like that sounds impossible, but also knowing nature that also sounds possible. Yes. So hmm. <laughs> never underestimate. Y'all seen that video yeah. where the guy trained crows to bring him like lost dollar bills? <laughs> <laughs> he just had a drawer full of these dollar bills. <laughs> he trained a crow oh. to trained a crow to rob the people though. Yeah. <laughs> Corbins are crazy smart, man. Yes, they are. <laughs> Well, that's I guess why we picked Raven as a character. I, I, I don't remember the Raven's guy. pursuing her PhD in the in the spinoff. So. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's the they're both students. Yeah, that's that is the spinoff we're going for. I'm sorry, I get to see like as as like professional as Raven is, I get to see her get distracted by like a shiny thing, and Billy's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's that'd true. That'd be funny. <laughs> No, Please don't. <laughs> actually, I think in the uh, in the story they're they're going cross country and they get someone tries to uh, rob them. Ooh, and it doesn't oh. go well for those people. I'm mm. looking forward to this. Well, yeah, so am I. Let's see if it ever happens. <laughs> We'd have to stop Power Square in its tracks. <laughs> so anyway, um, so we all like 18, I should say. Yes. And you would yeah. recommend it highly to people that you know that are watching or not watching. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there anything that you wanted to have happen that didn't happen in the issue? I'll just ask that question. Mm. That's kind of a that's kind of a tough question for me to answer because like usually when I read something, I take it at face value, yeah. especially if it's not like my like not something I'm writing or something. Yeah. So like I, I liked how I liked how it was like written and how it like how like the conclusion came. Okay, I just you know I was curious because we we just send yeah. you guys the scripts and you know. Honestly, it was really weird how Marty and Eli got abducted by aliens at the end. It seemed kind of really. <laughs> <out of the movie. laughs> I'm not sure why I made that, that decision. Is a, that is a different uh, different story than we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> It might have been more interesting, but no, that is not. <laughs> anyway, okay, well, so it drops uh, when this drops on YouTube. Yes. So if you like, if you liked this, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, leave a comment below if you have any uh, opinions or just comment. Rate. Yeah, great. Right. Yeah, and if you have, uh, if you read it, we'll uh, we'll give you a bonus or some sort. Of <laughs> <laughs> to be determined. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for being on the show, Rachel. So it's good to see you again. Of course. So uh, until next time, I'm David Hankins. I'm Paul Hankins. I'm Trevor Hankins. I'm Rachel Wells. And I'm Julia Cannon. And you've been on the air with Power Squared.